Hi, I'm Merrick DeMatter, and welcome to a brand new Arnold Entertainment Let's Play. Let's skip the, this, uh... Tron 2.0. This is obviously based on the, uh, Tron movie. we play on easy mode. Let's group. A new single player game. Authorized user program initialization loading loading So I uh, Haven't seen this uh, Tron legacy yet, but I'm uh, kinda, I like the original Tron movie. It's pretty fun Oh Please I've got to get back to my routing. I'm already behind on my delivery. What's this that thing? You have privileges I require I'm just a simple email. Those student. things. I... I know what you are, and I know what you'll become. This looks weird. Tell me, what is your function? Corrupt and conquer. I serve Thor, my master user. What is that thing? Meanwhile, in the real world. Oh, these are people. Chet, do you think your dad would mind if I had some of his popcorn? Huh? Oh, sure, have all you want. Tron Arcade Game. Yeah? I'm a little surprised you turned down the level 6 programming position. Look, Dad, I know you're disappointed. Damn right I'm disappointed. I pulled a lot of strings to get you that offer. I'm happy making games. Life is short, Pop. I plan to enjoy it. <sighs> you sound like Flynn. Flynn. Hold on, son. He was Mathria, uh, a banker. Run a first, security uh, diagnostic. Movie. Yes, Alan One. Results. A virus has entered the system via email. Lab drives one, two, and four infected. Jet, we'll have to continue this conversation later. This is a restricted area. You just can't come barging in. Light cycle. Here. Dad. Get your hands. Space oh. paranoid. Dad, can you hear me? Well, the other one is space paranoid. Then. I mean... Mathria, where's my father? Alan 2, I require immediate assistance. What do you mean? Contingency protocol activated. Uh... Laser activity in five seconds. This doesn't look like a good Mithria, idea. stop what you're doing! Put on goggles. Clear digitizing bay. Oh, dear. Yep, we're being digitized. Which I don't know if this is survivable or not. I hope it's survivable. If not, because if not, we're dead. Ooh! Fancy. Buena Vista Interactive presents... A game by Monolith Productions. I like them digging this music. My name of Perfect Dark. Uh, these people? Ooh. Darker blocks. Uh, still don't know any of these people. Sure, we will by the end credits, though. Off the top of my head. I don't know these people either. Interesting opening credit sequence, I have to say already. Tron 2.0. Uh, this is, by the way, a first-person shooter. Hope it's a lot better than the last one we played. That would be uh, Salt and Dark Athena. That is extreme. Mathria, what did you do? Nothing like the rest of the Tron world. So you are a user. Fascinating. Yeah. Hello. It's Duke training. Well, user, now that you've been digitized, 
You can think of me as your tour guide to the world inside the computer. There are a few crucial functions you'll have to learn if you hope to survive the system. Okay. I'm sending you a help file. You can view help files at any time by pressing the number 8 key. Got it. Study them closely. They typically contain important information. When a program has something to say, a talk icon will appear above his or her head. Okay, cool. To initiate the conversation... Talk icon. Oh, that's not really important. Approach the program and press the action key. Try it. Six more subdirectories have been compromised. The corruption managed to slip past our scheduled scans. Obviously an inside job. So yeah, they got the Tron look pretty, pretty well down on everyone but us. <laughs> To continue your training, activate the help programs that display the talk icon. Yeah, this orange fellow looks like he's to say. Tell me about player movement. The basic player movements are forward, backward, strafe left, strafe right, crouch, and jump. The mouse is used to look around. You can also look around corners. Here's a help file with more information. That concludes the basics. What do you have to say, orange man? Tell me about my status display. The status display shows your objectives and tasks. Press the tab key to see an example. I'm actually not surprised information. that uh, there's a video game of Tron. I'd be more surprised if there wasn't. Tell me about build points. As you gain experience in the digital world, build points will be added to your version number. Cool. At every milestone, you can use the build points to upgrade your performance Basically ratings. RPG elements. Press the F1 key to access your performance ratings and distribute your initial set of build points. Like I generally do in this situation... I, I tend to want... Uh, but health. Hmm. I'll do it like that. What's next? Here's a help file with more information. Oh, thank you. Ooh, five new build points added. Uh, no, no, no new build points. Never mind. What do you got for me now, Bite? Mathria has just requested an IO node link with Cool, you. what's that mean? World of Tron. Tell me about IO nodes. IO nodes are how programs communicate when not in the vicinity of each other. IO nodes, like most objects, require a permission set to activate. Cool. The segmented ring surrounding the reticle will indicate what permissions are missing. Cool. To activate an object such as this IO node, face the object and press the action Got key. It. I believe that's it. Thanks. You do not have the proper permission set to activate this object. Ah. This way, user. Gotta get the permissions. Okay. Activate this help program to learn about archive bins. Tell me about archive Please. bins. Please. Archive bins can contain permissions, emails, help files, and subroutines. Like most objects, they require a permission set to activate. Okay. To activate, face the archive bin and press the action key. Okay. One useful note, an empty archive bin exhibits no item nodes. That about covers it. Don't have permission to open the box to get the permission. Wonderful. Looks like you don't have the proper permission set to access this archive bin uh, either. Of course. Wait, I've got it here somewhere. Here you go. Now Thanks. that you have the proper permission set, activate the archive bin. To download an item from an archive bin, select the corresponding number on your keyboard. Download uh, permission three. Takes ten energy to do. Energy is also ammo, I think. 
Follow me back to the I.O. node. You now have the correct permission set to receive the message from a 3 Wonderful. Well, sorry, but this is kind of boring. It is a tutorial. To activate, face the I.O. node, then press the action key. Connecting to I.O. Good. Alan 2, you must attend your disk before proceeding. Ah, what do I need a disk for? It will be your primary weapon against the corruption. Node deactivated. Uh, gotta get our disk. Handling a disc is tricky. I strongly suggest a quick combat tutorial. I'm down. Follow me. I am totally up for that. Mithria has prepared a practice arena for you. The data stream leading to the arena is on the other side of this force. Awesome. Field. Unfortunately, the binary bit operating this socket is of busy. Course it is. Tell me about energy transfer. Periodically, binary bits lack energy to operate properly. To transfer energy to a bit, face the bit, then press and hold the action key. When the meter displayed in the HUD fills up, the transfer is complete. Ooh, 30 energy. That's quite an order. It's doing its thing. There we go. Tell me about binary bits. Binary bits are simple on and off switches. To activate an object such as this binary bit, face the object and press the action key. Uh, now activate the bit to lower the force field. Yes. A combat training area. Ooh. To pick up your disc, face it and press the action key. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Uh, get some HP first, well, energy, and then HP. And then, I'm going to save, because there's something really funny you can do. <laughs> Which we're not supposed to do. Can I configure our controls? Save, and I'm gonna save F5, and I'm gonna show you what we can do with a disc. We can do this to anyone. The illegal Boom. program termination. Dead. We immediately lose the game. <laughs> and after <laughs> illegal program termination, I love it. Uh, can't press F9 to re to quick load because um, that's my uh. That's my on and off record key, so oh, can't do that. Tell me your secrets. Good. Now before we get started, use the patch routines to restore your health and energy to full capacity. Did that. Activate the health program when ready to start the combat training. Tell me about using the disc. It's good practice to save your progress before entering into combat situations. Please do that now. Step onto the battle ring when ready. In a quick save frequently in this game. To throw the disc, click and release the left mouse button. To recall the disc, click the right mouse button. To steer the disc in mid-flight, click and hold the left mouse button. Moving the mouse will influence the path of the disc. To use the disc as a melee weapon, click the left mouse button while holding down the control key. To block an incoming enemy disc, press the right mouse button. Practice using the disc against this combat training program. Stop 
Who was this? When a program is derezzed, a core dump containing Version energy, seven. health, and quite often permissions and subroutines is left behind. If you wish to continue practicing, activate the switch to res in another combat training program. Enter the data stream when finished. Uh, should you train again? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's needed. Ask, let's move on. Five build points. Let's hurry and do that. I'm gonna get caught with our pants down, as it were. Oh, we have we have none. Never mind. Whoa! Virus people. So now uh, we got the main bulk of the game is viruses are attacking the Tron computer. We gotta stop them, obviously. Stuff. Take this email. Uh, unfortunately, not everyone has updated to the new virus protection software, and as a result, an unknown virus type has corrupted many systems on Group 7 Lab Server. We're working on the problem right now. Thank you for the patience, IT department. Cool. It's useful info. Save. Hit. Take this email too. Until further notice, do not download or upload files to the central source code server. We are doing our best to quarantine the virus, but its aggressive nature is making it extremely difficult. It's really unlike anything we have ever seen before. Sorry for the inconvenience, IT department. Save it again. Whew. Don't need to download hell, that's good. Can't break the virus wall, that's unfortunate. Something's gone horribly wrong. Rami failed to transmit a data packet to my user. He must have been corrupt. No, not Rami. <laughs> he was so young. <laughs> so many cycles left. Two build points. Can you level up anything yet? Yeah, we can level something up. Let's do... Uh, energy. How do we upgrade things again? Good up there, it seems. Yeah, we got time. The only way out is up through here. In the next sec, 
Doctor, there is an archive bin that contains a subroutine that will enable you to jump. Uh, of course, there is. This way, user. Can we upgrade anything yet, please? Archive bin and retrieve the subroutine stored inside. You got it. I'll do it. Quick save. Ooh, hello. Two boil build points. No. Oh! No, overshot that jump. Greetings, program. My name is Rami. Okay, gonna try that again. I'm gonna grab this. Ben, take the email. Greetings, program. My name is Rami. Subject: Award announcement from all to all personnel from management. We are thrilled to announce our very that our very own Mr. Alan Bradley has been awarded the highly con coveted International Academy of Intelligence Artificiel's Digital Pad Award for his latest version of Mathria. Please join us and Mr. Bradley in the employee lunchroom as we proudly present him with an award certificate. Congratulations, Mr. Bradley. I have an important packet to deliver. For quite a bit more. Ten energy. Hoot! There. So, looks like Rami's actually fine, so, uh. That's good. It's good that someone isn't dead. Or turned into a... I guess you could call virus-infected program zombies in the Tron universe? Pick up the energy bridge. Drop the stuff that's on it. Thanks for reactivating the bridge. Don't deactivate it now. Thanks, program. Oh, he's... Okay, he's on his way. He's gonna be fine. Ooh, a Y-Amp Alpha subroutine. I wish I knew what that meant. Ooh, and a blaster. Subroutines augment a program's base abilities when loaded into system memory. To load a subroutine, press the F1 key to bring up the menu, and right-click on the Ooh. subroutine in the outer ring. With the Y amp loaded, your jump height is great. Purple, I like. Okay, I'm putting a uh, jump in. Okay. Whoa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna up uh, level uh, refill my bees before I get eliminated. Where are those trying? Where are those uh, virus programs hiding? Save, obviously. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> didn't know we could do that. I didn't know that could kill us. Okay, quick 
explode. Yeah, maybe the uh, maybe the disc is our best bet right now. <laughs> Sounds like screaming. Ah. Uh, one of our abilities has become infected. That can happen, I guess. This is not good. <laughs> End of line, of course. Uh, reload. So we can get infected. That is not good news. That is really bad news. We're taking a lot of damage up there. Corruption fragment uh, has fragmented basically everything, so uh Whew. Eating damage up there, jeez. Hope you're able to upgrade soon. Oh, we've drained the- oh, crap. That thing's up and attacking us. I remember there being this many enemies. Alpha Super Team. Okay, gotta disinfect our jumping ability again. A 100% corrupt profiler, that's great. Drag this. Save again. Thanks, program. I was afraid my subroutines were going to become infected. You look cool. Follow me to the exit.
So I could put you to defect, you to defrag. No, that's poor procedural. You're not done yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna set another bad block to defrag. That's how we do that. Two build points. We'll get the alpha pro get the get the other alpha subroutine. And get our email. Subject, award announcement. Uh, da, da. Evidently, Mr. Bradley is not available to attend the award presentation. For those who are interested, a copy of the award certificate will be featured in the next company newsletter. I'm sorry, we were sucked into a computer. We've got more important things to deal with right now than an award. Save. And, uh... Keep going for a bit. Let me do something that happens. Maybe we have a cutscene coming up. Ooh, ten build points. Wait for this cutscene, then we'll save. The Colonel's Command Deck. Oh, it's a Sark! That's a clearance present Sark. Isn't it isn't Sark, but it's a Sark. Colonel system scans indicate partitions 5 through 32 are infected. Block all right access privileges and send in more intrusion countermeasure programs. But he's, not, he's a good guy, it seems. Have you isolated the source? Not yet, sir. However, we've picked up the signature and unauthorized program in the sector. Quarantine and bring the program to me immediately. Because he's just doing the good stuff, not the MCP or anything. Program integration. Sounds, uh, somehow sinister. So what are you exactly? A bit? A bit. Ha! I'm a bite. But Thria wouldn't send a simple bit to do a bite's job. Let me tell you, mister. Shh. Hmm. Well, uh, gonna see if we can upgrade anything in our, uh, here, we're gonna see if we can upgrade anything, then we'll call it a video, I think. Profiler gives you the ability to receive vital information. Definitely taking that. Uh, nothing for here yet, gonna defrag this. How do we upgrade? <laughs> so, um... Ooh, this is pretty cool. Wish you could pick a color, I'd be purple. That's why we got this thing. Anyway, um, I've been Merrick Demand, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Tron 2.0. Till then, um, ciao. Hi, thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona, and you can find a link to her commission page in the description below. See you next time.